He talks about the start, <coughs> Ali. Leeds first three, Wolves home, Southampton away, Chelsea home. So two at home and a trip to Southampton. I think when he talks about injuries, right away I'm thinking Bamford. If they can yeah. just keep him fit, Alan. Uh, Alan, 100%, right? <clears throat> I mean, I know it's fair to say that all clubs go through uh, injury periods throughout a season. Of course they do. But I thought Leeds more than most were seriously hampered last year. As I said earlier, right through the spine of our team. The man we're listening to there, Cooper. Obviously, Phillips didn't play as much as we thought he would. And Bamford was key. I mean, I saw Bamford a couple of times. Uh, you, you know, I like him. Really proper centre-forward. Key to Leeds United, particularly, obviously, in goal-scoring areas. They've got to get a good start, Leeds. <clears throat> they did it, that, that game, um, they won the last game to stay up, and it was great. But they've got to build on that. I'm just looking. They brought a couple in. Of course, they have. They've, they've spent a few quid bringing a few in. But at the same time, they've they're really lost key players in Phillips yeah. and Rafinha. No doubt about it. Um, Ali, yeah, a, a while ago, not that long ago, I bumped into Eddie Gray. Uh, I was doing a quiz. One of my favourite. Ray. One of my favourite people. One of my favourite people. By the way, cash milk boy, isn't he? And, Brilliant uh, lad. Glasgow and um, what a player! What a family! Uh, yeah. He was telling me, Frank, his brother, his is he's is it Frank's boy or his boy's boy? What a player! There's a I, couple I there. Think it, uh, yeah. One of them he said is I is won't it say Stuart's who. But he boy? Says one, one of the them boys. One of the brilliant. yeah. You're right. One of the boys, and I didn't hear it from yourself. One of the boys meant to be absolutely fantastic. But yeah. hey, Eddie, Eddie and Frank wanted to you bad. Eddie was some player. Oh yeah. Wasn't he? Oh yeah. Well, he played. <laughs> we're talking about Celtic Leeds, aren't we? In 1970. Aye. Do you know He'd what I mean? He played in that, wouldn't he? Yeah. It? Oh yeah. And um, by the way, while we're talking about Leeds and great players, uh, I really wish Big Gordon, Gordon McQueen, well. Yeah, I know. You know, I was, I was, I was reading and listening to what he's Haley was saying Alan. his daughter, and I'm like, I can't believe it. This was, this is one of the funniest guys I've ever met oh. in football. He used to, um, he used to live in the next valley. Used to be up the road. You must know the stories, man. Big Gordon and. Dear me, he used to live in the next village up the road in Kilmacombe, then he moved into Loch Winnock, him and Yvonne, and he's just a, an absolute diamond, diamond a guy, and he's having a tough time of it just now, as is Yvonne, so our thoughts are certainly with him all. I know, I, I remember one funny story, and, and, and you know, uh, I, I do this in the kindest way, um, Big Gordon was in trouble. We'd been away somewhere with United and he was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd end up in Paddy Crennan's pub really, really late, and then and he was in big trouble on the Saturday night. <laughs> and I always remember I was in this uh, Jeff Baker's place in uh, Bowden, and Brian had just sat down, Brian Robson with the family for dinner. <laughs> and, then, and the door opened, and it was packed in there. And there was Big Gordon, he went, where is he? I went, Robbo, I went, he's in there. Just sat down for a Sunday roast. <laughs> and all of a sudden, one kid, two kid, three kid, go and see your Uncle Brian, and off he went. <laughs> <laughs> he was magic, by the way. He was brilliant. Right. I loved him. Uh, top man, Gordon. So please, if you're listening, keep well.